Hello students, welcome to Edusel. In this video, we are going to discuss about easy reductions. The reduction is broadly categorized into two different apps. One is for easy reductions, another is hard reduction. In easy reductions, I kept three videos for you. The first video, which is for easy reduction, is LCM to GCD. Those who are new, kindly watch the previous videos through which you can know at least the reductions, why reduction is important, what is reduction, how reduction is taking places. Okay, so here uh, this represents like LCM to uh, GCD means like using GCD, we are finding LCM, okay, which is a very good example you might have uh, been used before or prior in a you know school level you might have used it. Okay, so what exactly the problem should be? the LCM okay the input will be given as two different integers x and y the return you know uh, the LCM exactly stands for the smallest integer m such as that m is a multiple of x and m is also the multiple of y okay so this is what you have already you know how to find the LCM don't worry if you do not know that I will tell you with the example okay so GCD uh, you know how to find it out here the input will be given to you output like exactly largest integer a uh, d suppose you want to find it out from this x and y exactly which the d that you found that should be divides for both the integers okay this is what the gcd and this is what the lcm is as for the algorithm it is written like if you want to find it out the lcm as we said those who are new kindly was the previous video how we are writing the reduction this is how we are actually writing uh, this represents LCM polynomial reduces the GCD. This is what exactly we are writing it. Okay. So uh, if such things are written, so you should know GCD using GCD, we are trying to find out LCM. This is what it is uh, represented as. Okay. So uh, whatever written on the right hand side, we know that uh, to find the algorithm that should be written on the left hand side okay this is our left hand side left hand side is unknown for us and right hand side is known for us if it is written in this order okay so uh, as per the algorithm which is written as you should multiply the both the integer and that should be divided with the gcd okay x and y the gcd whatever it is you should keep that one and it should be divided if you want to find it out the lcm uh, through GCD we are finding out the LCM so what we have to do is we should have to multiply the different integers and we should have to divide that using the GCD because it is written that okay so I'm just giving you an example uh, suppose x is 24 and y is 36 just for an example okay that you know if you want to find it out so might be you can take 12 then here 2 here is 3 for GCD this is what your GCD is okay if you want to find it out the LCM then it should be 12 into 3 2 into 3 okay which you can expect is 72 this is what LCM is as per our algorithm it is written LCM if you want to find it out so it will be x into y divided by GCD of x comma y it was written okay next 24 into 36 gcd is 12 suppose you want to find out the lcm just got it with 2 the lcm will be 72 okay this is what we are expecting if we are doing such thing like LCM to GCD means LCM reduces to GCD means using GCD we are finding out the LCM I am just writing it 
using GCD we are finding the LCM okay if opposite will be there like GCD is written in this sense GCD to LCM means using LCM we are finding the GCD okay so you can check GCD equal to x the same approach we should follow into y lcm of x comma y okay next the value would be twenty four thirty six the same example we should take to clarify our doubt okay now LCM we found as 72 just caught it reach 12 so we have got GCD by reducing the LCM also okay so both the end it is possible so we are reading reduce uh, reduction to reduce a known problem to a known problem okay so whenever we are actually reducing a problem means we are going towards the known problem through the known problem we are not starting from the scratch we started from something which we already knew okay from that we are trying to find the result this is what the reduction is this is just an example of easy reduction other videos are also there kindly watch that and if you have any doubt please comment below Thank you. Have a good day.